Well, the Tucson Sanctuary City proposal has been in the news a lot lately, and a hearing is scheduled this afternoon for the people who want to block it. It's expected to be on the November ballot. Now, if passed, it would add protections for people living in the U.S. illegally. Also, a mother and her boyfriend are set to be sentenced today after the death of the woman's nine-month-old son. Salma Rodriguez and Ivan Portillo Herrera pleaded guilty to manslaughter charges. The two were arrested in May of 2017. Tucson Fire responded to a report of an unresponsive child. Detectives say the child's injuries were consistent with abusive head trauma. Also today, a jury will be selected for the case of Border Patrol agent Matthew Bowen. He's going on trial for allegedly depriving a migrant of his rights and falsifying records after an incident in 2017. He's accused of knocking over a migrant with his patrol vehicle. Now, weeks before the incident, federal court records show Bowen sent texts calling migrants, quote, savages and subhuman. Bowen has pleaded not guilty. Well, students and teachers at a Tucson elementary school have a new program in place this year. Mm -hmm. The goal is to create a kinder campus. Not on your side's Veronica Acosta has more on how staff is encouraging those students. Mark Whitney, good morning. Well, the inspiration for this new program, it all came from this book, which is called Have You Filled a Bucket Today? Now, before school started this year, teachers and staff here, they decided that they wanted to do something to promote kindness, responsibility, respect, and safety among students. Now, they decided that every time they see a student do one of these acts, they would get something called coyote cash. Now, the more coyote cash students earn, the more of a chance they actually have to get a prize. Now, this new program, it's actually been in place for right around two weeks now and so far teachers and staff say that they have seen students go from actively trying to get that coyote cash to just doing these acts mindlessly without expecting any reward in return. We're reporting from Agua Caliente Elementary School. Veronica Costa, Kega 9 on your side. All right, Veronica, thank you. Let's check in with April now for a look at our forecast today. April, good morning. Good morning to you. We're at 78 degrees, so we've actually gone up. We were briefly were at 76, and now we're starting to climb a bit, which means these two numbers are going to start going down, especially the later it gets into the afternoon and the later it gets into the week, especially by Wednesday, Thursday. We now have an excessive heat watch by Wednesday. Rain chances really not great for Tucson, uh, at least the first half, but we get closer to the weekend. We start seeing our temperatures kind of going back down as our monsoon moisture starts to kind of creep back into the forecast. A much drier though and much warmer week ahead. We'll let you know if that excessive heat watch gets extended to Thursday in the coming days.